Hi, my name is Methat Al Masri. We will look at the start services in Android. What is a started service? A started service is a service that runs without a UI. It can be started by an activity and it can exist long after the activity has been destroyed. I'm going to build with you a very, very simple example of how it works. And the example we're going to be working on today is a started service that gets initiated by the click of a button in a UI. When that service gets started, it displays a message in the log after 10,000 milliseconds. So let us get started. So I'm going to create a new Android Studio project and I'll choose the empty activity. And over here, I'll call my app joke and the language is Java and the minimum API level is 26. To this application, I'm going to add a service and the service I'm going to choose is the started service, which is also called the intent service. And I'm going to call my service the delayed message service. I'm going to delete all of this code here and replace it with my own, which looks like this. The only class I need to resolve is log. What does this class do? Well, the delayed message service extends intent service. It's got some instance variables, which are essentially two static strings. One is just message and the other one is the name of the class, which you can get by calling the class name dot class get simple name. The constructor just passes the text delayed message service to the parent. Now there's a method here called show text. And what this does is it simply logs something in the log cat of Android Studio and the title of the message is the name of the class and this is the message it is the message is followed by what's being passed as an argument to this method when you inherit from the intent service you must override method on handle intent this code here simply ensures that there's a delay of 10,000 milliseconds. After 10,000 milliseconds, we're going to get the value of text that's being passed from the activity. And we're just going to pass it on to the show text. So all this service does is that it displays a message after 10,000 milliseconds. Now I need to add some strings in my strings.xml file. So I'll open that up and add to it two strings that I need. And you will see that the first string is simply a question and the value is what is the secret of comedy? And the response is timing. So this is what's going to appear inside of my log. Let's have a look at the activity main.xml. I'm going to replace this with my own interface and here I have a linear layout, vertical orientation and simply I have a button and the button here is going to display the question and it's got an on click event. So let me handle that on click event. So I will add this method over here and as you can see this on click method instantiates an intent and the intent pertaining to a service is instantiated pretty much like you would instantiate the intent pertaining to an activity. Here I'm passing on into this key, the string that's in my strings.xml response. I'm passing that on to the service as part of the intent and notice this method start service. So let us run this and see what happens. Here it is. Let me click on this and then let's go to the log cat and hopefully that message will display after a while. 
and here is this message. You can see that the title is the name of the class followed by the message is and timing. Let's modify our application so that instead of displaying a message inside of the log, we will instead display a message on our phone as a notification. So I'm going to comment this out and I will replace it with another show text method that displays the message as a notification on our phone. Now every notification needs to have a unique ID. So I'm going to add an instance variable here with a unique ID which I will call notification ID and I sort of give it a number. This could be any number. And as far as the show text method is concerned, I will have my updated show text message and this is what it looks like. The first thing is I get the intent from the activity and so over here we have a pending intent object. So what is a pending intent? Well, a pending intent is a token that you give a foreign application, for example, a notification manager or alarm manager or third party application and it allows the foreign application to use your application's permission to execute a predefined piece of code. So here we get a pending intent object from your activity and here you're building your notification with the icon that you want, the title that you want, in our case it's going to be the question, the content text which is going to be the text that's being passed to this method and priority levels and so on and so forth. Then you instantiate a notification channel, pass it the notification channel ID which is this string here and you can give it a name and a priority. Here you get a notification manager object from the service and with this notification manager object you create a notification channel and pass it the channel object and this is where you start the notification by calling the notify method, pass it the notification ID which is the number we set up here and get the builder to build the notification. If we run this application it's going to behave a little bit different because instead of displaying a message in the log it's going to display a message in our user interface. So let's try it out. Let's click on what is the secret of comedy and after a while which is after 10 thousand milliseconds we should see a notification here it is what is the secret of comedy that's the title and timing is the response thank you very much and i hope that you understand the value of a started service in android studio